Good morning, happy Wednesday. I am officially ready for the day. We have a super busy day today. So I got fully ready. I have several coaching calls today. I want to do a little bit of filming because I'm actually heading out to California for another little mini vacation on Thursday. I'm actually going to a nutrition conference. So I'm pre-filming a little bit. So it's just been an insane busy week and we have a busy day today as well. Aside from coaching calls and filming, I have several packages coming today. I have some new products that I've been loving that I want to share with you guys. I'm going to recap my entire trip to Hawaii, pop up lots of pictures for you to see. I know you guys are anxious to hear all about my trip. We'll talk about how I hurt my ankle the final day of Hawaii, which leads me into why I didn't go to the gym this morning. I'm unable to work out until my foot heals. So what I decided to do was just take this as a little bit of a deload, take a break from working out in general for, these, for this week that I'm home in between Hawaii and heading to California. By the time I get back from California, I should be able to get right back into the gym as normal. My foot is feeling a lot better, almost back to normal. So I'm just going to take it easy for the next couple days until I head out. So that is why you did not see any gym clips this morning. So I've really just been heavily focused on food because as we know, the only way to lose weight is food. And it really has nothing to do with exercise. So I've been eating really well, getting in my protein, drinking my water, and so far so good on the scale. Of course, I'll be sharing my weigh-in with you guys on Friday as always. So if you're new to my channel and you're not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to check out that description box for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. As you know, that is how I've lost the majority of my weight. I cannot recommend it enough and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. You'll also find everything we talk about today and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you. I'm going to make some breakfast. I have a coaching call in a half of an hour, but first I thought I'd share with you guys my little outfit of the day. I know you like seeing what I'm wearing every single day, so today we are keeping it simple. My cute little tank top is adorable. It has a ruched design on it. It's actually from Walmart and was about $10. It was available the the last time I linked it on Instagram. So if it is, I'll put it down in the description box for you. I'm wearing this cute little skirt that I got for $2.50 at Ross. It is pretty big on me. It is, it is very oversized. So I'm going to wash it in hot, dry it in hot, hope to shrink it down a little bit. But I thought this was a really fun, comfortable, kind of feels like pajama outfit. And then I just have on this cute little black necklace from Kendra Scott. I don't know if this is available still. I've had it for a couple years. If it is, I'll link it for you. And then these fun, just kind of plastic earrings. I don't even know where I got them from. So that is the outfit of the day. And let me show you what I'm having for breakfast this morning. This has been a breakfast that I have been loving. I've been eating it almost every day since I got back from Hawaii. So it's one of these stone fire non rounds. These are just the original rounds. Rounds. You know how they have the big non breads and they have the little non breads that you can dip and dip. Those are absolutely delicious, but I really, really like these. You can have two of these non breads for 180 calories. So if you made a sandwich out of it, you would use two, it'd be 180 calories. I use one and I use it as the base of my breakfast sandwich. I've also made pizza on these and it's so incredibly delicious. That way it's only 90 calories. And then I add an egg and a laughing cow cheese wedge. So I spread this on first, add my cooked egg, and it makes kind of a breakfast sandwich. And then I've been pairing it with a yogurt every day. Today I'm going to do the Chobani Zero Sugar in Vanilla. This just gives me a little more protein. This actually has... 11 extra grams of protein. This breakfast sandwich isn't a super high protein breakfast and I need at least 20 grams in my breakfast every day. You saw that I had my protein coffee this morning. So by adding in a yogurt, it adds a little bit of volume to my breakfast and also gets me those extra grams of protein. So let me put together my breakfast sandwich and then I'll show you what the final, what my breakfast looks like and give you points, calories and macros. So here is my breakfast. So I warm the naan up in the microwave for about 10 seconds. I spread the laughing cow cheese on it, put my egg on top, and then I have my yogurt. It is such a good breakfast. It is super filling. I sometimes will pair fruit with it if I'm a little extra hungry. Today I'm not starving, so I think this is going to be perfect for me. You could also pop some granola on your yogurt, but I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and protein here on the screen for you. So I just pick it up like this. Mm. It's really good. 
The naan bread is a, a little less heavy and dense than regular bread, but it adds a really nice soft texture to the little sandwich. The Laughing Cow cheese is full of flavor. Then you have the egg. It's really good. Definitely recommend trying. You could add whatever other toppings you want to it. You could throw avocado toast on there. You could even add some bacon if you wanted to make like a bacon, egg, cheese type of breakfast sandwich. But I have really been loving this since I got back. I'm back again with some more home organization. I feel like every few what I eat in a day is I'm doing something to our house. I guess that's just part of moving out of state and buying a new house. But I have been looking for some type of basket to store fruits and vegetables on my kitchen counter. And I wanted something that would look really nice in my house, be aesthetically pleasing. I didn't want a glass bowl or a wood bowl. or I wanted something that was more of a basket style. So as always, you guys know how much I love Good Pick. I have several, several products from them, those cute little flo floating shelves, my drawer organizer, so many great products from Good Pick that I decided to hop on their website and see what they had as far as storage when it came to baskets. And I picked up these two adorable baskets. I mean, how cute are these? They did come in a two pack. There's one that's a little bit more of a square shape and then one that is a little bit more of a rectangle shape. I love the woven material. I love the tan and the white. I think it's just, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's really pretty. It's very modern. I love that the baskets also have handles, which makes that really convenient and easy. I love that they're recycled, eco-friendly materials, and everything is just such nice quality. I mean, these are very thick, very sturdy. You can see that they don't actually fold in half, that the bottom of them is nice and sturdy. So you could really use these for storage anywhere in your house, and they look so nice. They could be left out on open shelving or put out on counters. But what I want to do is I want to use these for fruits and vegetables. Right now, I don't have any fruit that doesn't need to be refrigerated. We actually ate up all the apples and everything that we bought, but I do have some onions that I would like to put in a basket and some potatoes. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put these on my kitchen counter where my old fruit and vegetable bowl was. And I'm going to use both of these, one for fruits, one for vegetables, right now one for potatoes and one for onions. But when I pick up some more apples and things at the store, I'll have one basket specifically designated for fruit and one specifically designated for vegetables. They look so nice on my kitchen counter. They blend beautifully with my granite countertops and the paint color that we have in our kitchen. It's so pretty and so aesthetically pleasing. And it was really the perfect choice for fruit and vegetable baskets for my counters. And like I said, I wanted to have a separate basket for fruits and a separate basket for vegetables and as always the quality is exceptional I love the company I love what the company stands for so I will go ahead and link the good pick website as well as their Instagram and these adorable storage baskets down below for you with a discount I couldn't be happier with how nice the new fruit and vegetable baskets look it is morning snack time I have already had three coaching calls today and I'm about to hop on the fourth one but I'm hungry and I'm feeling like I need a little pick-me-up and you guys know that I love the Verb Energy Bars. I have been eating these and sharing these for well over a year now. Well, they have made the Verb Energy Bars bigger and better. So these are the Verb Caffeinated Snack Bars. So I actually picked up two separate flavors. I have the chocolate peanut butter cup. They are vegan, they are gluten-free, 90 calories for one bar, and it's going to give you about 80 milligrams of caffeine, which is about a shot and a half of espresso. So it is the perfect pick-me-up snack. Great for pre-workout, great for post-workout. Here is the size of the bars. They have all new packaging. It's just super, super adorable. So one bar equals one shot of espresso. And then I also have the peanut butter cookie, which also sounds amazing. If you can tell a thing here, I love chocolate. I love peanut butter. So we have peanut butter cookie. We have chocolate peanut butter cup. I have not tried either one of these. So I'm going to have a bar as a snack, but I'm going to have half of one flavor and half of another so that we can try them together. They have only two grams of sugar and they're three points on the WW plan. So here's what the bar looks like. They're like a super soft granola bar. This one is chocolate peanut butter. No bake cookie. No bake cookie. This is a no bake cookie. This is so good. I want to eat all of it, but I want to try the other flavor too. This is delicious. It is literal no bake cookie. The whole chocolate peanut butter oat vibe. Wow. 
That is delicious. But let's try the peanut butter cookie as well. And here's what that one looks like. Same super soft granola bar texture. They have a ton of flavors. I just chose these two because I just love peanut butter anything. Mmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so good. This tastes like a peanut butter cookie. Like I went to the bakery, bought a peanut butter cookie. Oh my gosh, I love them both. Honestly, I think I like the peanut butter cookie better, even though I really love the chocolate peanut butter, AKA no bake. Oh my God, these are so good. Both flavors are incredible. You seriously cannot go wrong with either one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a hard time not eating them both, but I'm only going to eat half of each of them. Put the rest aside for later. I can do it, I can do it. But I'm really glad I picked up both of these flavors. Incredible. I will go ahead and put discount information here on the screen. I'll link Verb down below for you. They have some really great promotions going on right now. So if you haven't ordered Verb before, check out their new at Cafe, their energy bars. 10 out of 10. So I'm about to fill up my third water. I'm pretty proud of myself. It is just the early afternoon and I'm already on my third 32 ounce cup of water. And I'm going to use an electrolyte supplement, which is something that I've been using for a few weeks now. Like I always tell you guys, I like to buy different supplements and try them out for a while before I share them with you. Number one, I wanna make sure that I like them, that they work, and that I feel like it's worth sharing with you guys. And I have been on the hunt for a really good electrolyte supplement that tastes good. As you know, prior to the foot injury in Hawaii, I work out seven days a week, and you always need to supplement after your workout with some electrolytes to get them back into your body after you've sweated them out and burned them during your workout. I've tried quite a few brands of electrolyte supplements, quite a few that I've purchased off of Amazon at the grocery store, and I haven't liked a single one of them, so that's why I haven't really shared them with you. You know I do take a supplement after my workouts called 6 a.m. run, but I wanted something that was a specific electrolyte supplement, and I discovered LMNT. This is seriously the best electrolyte supplement I have ever used. It tastes really good. It is all natural, zero points. The ingredients are perfection in a natural, it's a natural supplement that will help recoup electrolytes. I have noticed a drastic, drastic improvement post-workout. Muscle recovery, feeling hydrated, making sure that I'm getting in my electrolytes, which helps shed a lot of the water weight from breaking down muscles. It's just a great thing to have in your arsenal post-workout. Also, it is recommended to take an electrolyte supplement if you work really hard, if you sweat a lot, you need to make sure that you're recouping those electrolytes. So I have stocked up, by the way, on my LMNT because I love it that much. I have purchased the full-size boxes. I have purchased the little travel pack, variety pack that allows you to try out all the different flavors. I've bought them all and I love them and I'm excited to use one in my water today, but I thought I would share with you about the supplement because after using it for a few weeks, I'm, I'm in love. So it's a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. Your life should be with more salt, not less. So the word is out. After decades of misinformed guidance, a growing body of scientific literature is revealing that low sodium levels may indeed be harmful to health. In fact, optimal health outcomes are seen at sodium levels two to three times higher than government recommendations. Your optimal range for your salt intake should be about five to seven grams daily. Each one of the LMNT packets has a thousand milligrams of sodium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, 200 milligrams of potassium. They are vegan, paleo and keto friendly. They have everything you need, nothing you don't, no sugar, no gluten, and no sketchy ingredients. Sodium is really important in your diet. This drink mix is formulated to help you with your electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited for folks following a keto, low carb, or even a paleo diet. It helps keep your mind clear helps your body recover and whether you work out or not it's really important to make sure that your electrolytes are in check and that you're consuming enough sodium every day sodium actually helps you shed water weight as weird as that sounds and by getting it in a tasty electrolyte supplement that you can add to water which also means you're getting in your water is really a triple threat you're getting in your electrolytes you're getting your sodium needs for the day you're getting in your water you're really supplementing your body with what your body needs for performance and for optimal health getting in your electrolytes every day is as important as getting 
bringing in good food every single day. Like I said, whether you work out or not, you need to maintain both your electrolyte balance and your sodium balance. And this is just a super convenient way to do it. They come in little packets, so they're really great to take on the go. And like I said, these little packets here, these little pouches have one of each flavor. It's a great way to try the product out. And then when you find a flavor you really love, which is what I did, you can buy full boxes. So I actually like all of the different flavors. We have chocolate salt, citrus salt, orange salt, raw unflavored. That one is great. You wanna put it in a flavored beverage. If you already have a flavored water or juice, you can add the unflavored to that. We have watermelon salt, raspberry salt, and lemon habanero. This one I was a little nervous about, but I really like it. It's very lemony with this back end little kick to it, delicious. We also have mango chili, which is similar to the habanero. I really like that one. And then this one I really like too. This is the orange salt. I went ahead and bought four of my favorite flavors in the 30 stick pack. So I have raspberry salt, which I love, citrus salt, watermelon salt, and orange salt. Those are probably my four favorite flavors. But like I said, this is a great way to get started so that you can try out all the different flavors. And again, because they are in little packets, I've taken these to Hawaii. They're in my suitcase, ready for California. I have a couple of these in my car, a couple of these in my purse, at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. If I have a really hard workout, I'll add a packet of this to my water. So what you do is mix one stick pack with 32 ounces of Water for salty, 24 ounces for a little bit salty er, and 16 ounces for salty AF. So it depends on how salty you want your water. Now it's not a gross salty, but there is definitely a little bit of salty undernote, which is really important when it comes to refueling your body with electrolytes. You can use it to kickstart your day, power your workout, support healthy fasting, and it's an ultimate travel companion. So we have the 12 count variety pack or the single flavor 30 stick pack. And buy several boxes in one large box, have it delivered to your house. Really, really great product. I highly, highly recommend. I'm so glad I discovered it. I'm about to put some in my water. So what should we do today? Let's do, hmm. I think today we're gonna do watermelon salt. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. So you're just going to pop it open, sprinkle it into your glass or your water bottle, add your water and some ice and you are set. So let me add some water, some ice to this, and we'll get our electrolytes in for the day. Mm, so good. So I usually mix mine with 32 ounces. That's what my water bottle is. So I usually fill it like you saw, full of water, mix in the electrolytes, add some ice. That way it's not super salty. You are going to have a little bit of a salty undernote, but what I taste is the watermelon. This one is so good. The watermelon is delicious. So I do have a discount code for you guys that they so graciously offer. I'll link everything down below for you. Again, you can pick up the sample pack or the full size boxes, but add electrolytes to your day. It's really important for overall health and especially for post-workout recovery. So I'm ready for some lunch. I have a couple more calls today. It is noon, I am hungry. As promised, I saved these during my whole trip so we could try these together. These are the Gilbert's Bourbon Apple Chicken Sausage. I have tried the Aloha, I tried the Sun Dried Tomato, I loved them both. So I picked up these so that we could try these together in today's video. They're individually wrapped, fully cooked, 120 calories and 12 grams of protein. So a great low calorie, high protein lunch or dinner option. I'm really excited to try this flavor. I'm filling some cucumbers. I cut up a whole bag of mini cucumbers yesterday. And then I'm really excited to share these with you guys. I ordered these off of Amazon. I actually ordered these a while ago. I've already been through an entire box, which is all five flavors. Just got my second box in today and we're gonna have a bag with lunch. Oh my gosh, you need these chips in your life. Again, I just ordered these off of Amazon. I actually saw these on Shark Tank and then I immediately went over to Amazon and ordered them. They are amazing. These are from the brand Quavos. Guilt-free snacking perfected. It says eight grams of protein per bag, which is amazing. They are gluten-free. They're 150 calories per bag as well. I'm telling you, they are so delicious. They come in five different flavors. So there's honey mustard, dill pickle, sour cream and onion, mesquite barbecue, and cheddar. Uh, every single flavor is so good. You would never know these are made out of egg whites. Never, ever, ever. And what I love the most about them is that they have quite a bit of protein. They also have three grams of fiber per bag. So you're getting protein and fiber in a chip. They literally taste like a chip made 
and they're made from egg whites. Blows my mind. I love them. I like them so much that I actually signed up for their subscribe and save. So they just get delivered every month because I really, really love them. So we're going to have a bag of these with lunch. I'm going to show you what they look like. And I'll tell you that when I got these last time, Troy actually ate the dill pickle ones. So I haven't tried dill pickle. You only get one of each bag in this little box on Amazon. So we're going to do a first impression of the dill pickle flavor. I have tried all the other flavors. I love them. So I have no doubt this one will be equally delicious, but we're going to do chips, a sausage, and some cucumbers for lunch. So here is my lunch for today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about this. So here are my Quavos chips. We'll test those out in just a minute. Lots of cucumbers because I've been obsessed with them lately. And let me tell you how good this sausage smells. It smells so good. So we're gonna taste test the sausage and the chips. Alrighty, taste test time. First off, bourbon sausage from Gilbert's. Cheers. Mm, that's really good. I do get that bourbon note, kind of that smoky bourbon note. It's, re it's really, really good. Equally as good as the other ones, but if I were to rank the three Gilberts that I've tried, I would rank the Aloha as number one, the Sun-Dried Tomatoes number two, and this one as number three. Not that this isn't good. I just like the other two just a tiny bit better, but I'll definitely eat these, super good. Now let's test the dill pickle Quavos. So here's what they look like. They actually remind me of little wheat thins and they smell amazing. They literally smell like a pickle. Wow. Oh my God. I knew they'd be good. These are so good. Oh my gosh, this flavor is so good. It tastes like dill pickle popcorn or dill pickle crackers, chips. So good, it just blows my mind these are made from egg whites because God honest, you would never know. They are that good. So I'll link these down below. I'll put them into my Amazon store. This lunch is killing it. Is daddy home from golf? <gasps> is he? Palmer, Palmer, I heard his car. I hear him, do you see him yet? <gasps> He's coming, he's coming. Oh, I know. Hang on, go see at the door. Go see at the door. Go see at the door. Lola. Hey, he's coming in the door. You guys are not very patient. Yay! Yay! And he even came with coffee. Oh, and food. Oh no, that's just a pop. Yay for coffee. So I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of the zero sugar pumpkin pie to my coffee Troy brought me and hop on my final Zoom call of the day before we have an afternoon snack. I have been on calls all morning and you know what sounds really, really good? A cup of tea. I don't know why I love my coffee as you know, but sometimes a cup of tea just sounds really, really good. And I actually got a new tea maker from the brand Bybeam and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. It's an electric tea kettle, but it's not just a normal electric tea kettle. It has a lot of other functions to make the perfect cup of tea every single time. Different teas require different temperatures and steeping times. What's great about this tea kettle is it actually has specific buttons for specific types of tea. So whether you're having a black tea or a green tea, the temperature and the steeping time varies and this does all of it for you so every time you have the perfect cup of tea. It's a brushed stainless steel finish. It has smooth lines that make this machine absolutely beautiful. You could even leave this out on your counter and it would definitely be a conversation piece because it is such a beautiful tea kettle. You won't burn your tea, you won't steep it for too long and it has a six in one built in temperature and steep settings to bring full aromas and flavor out of every blend. It's portable and compact. It includes the cord wrap at the bottom for a nice appearance. It has an auto warmer made to help you effortlessly enjoy your tea time. So it has an auto warmer, so it will actually keep your tea warm for up to 60 minutes. It'll maintain the ideal temperature. Like I said, it has a six in one unique tool with built-in functions for the perfectly brewed cup of tea with aroma and flavor every time. It's super easy to operate. The buttons speak for themselves. You can even just boil water to the perfect temperature as well, or you can brew and steep your tea to the perfect temperature for the type of tea that you're drinking. It's a super innovative design and it's made of FDA approved, high quality material with thermostats and BPA silicone free. I'm going to have a cup of tea in my adorable little boo mug. I can't tell you how simple it is to make tea in this and it is really, really easy to clean. I've used this a few times and it is so easy. Empty the tea leaves into the garbage, wash the components, 
allow to dry, super easy to clean. And then what I like to do is with whatever tea is left over, I put it into a mason jar, allow it to cool, cover it with some saran wrap, and I throw it in the fridge. And then I have iced tea later in the day. So I'm going to sip on some hot tea during my next coaching call, put my mason jar in the fridge so that I have some iced tea for a little bit later this afternoon. And I really, truly love the Bi Beam Tea Maker. It makes it so simple. It's just an all around great way to make the perfect cup of tea every single time, or in my case, hot tea and iced tea. So I will link the Bi Beam Tea Maker down below for you with a discount, highly recommend. So I thought we could come outside and I would give you guys my trip update and kind of how my trip to Hawaii went. I've been getting a lot of questions on where did I stay, what island did I go to, what tours did I take? So I thought that me, you, and the dogs, because they're out here as well, of course, playing. So if you hear them, they're just playing Lola and Palmer. Diesel's chilling over here. But I thought that I could give you a rundown of how my trip went, answer all the questions that I've been getting. I'm going to pop in lots and lots, lots and lots of pictures for you guys so you can see all the different things that we did while we were in Hawaii. But some of the main questions that I was getting is where did we stay? So we stayed on Kona or the big island and we stayed in the Hilton Kahala Suites. Highly, highly recommend. It's a big Hilton property, so when you stay in any of the hotels, and we really loved the hotel we stayed in, and we loved the pool. I mean, the pool was out of this world compared to all of the other pools in the, the Hilton area, the different Hilton hotels. Ours was hands down the nicest with the slides and the waterfalls. Really, really beautiful, and the hotel was very, very nice. And you actually get access to all the Hilton properties in this like village or this suites area. So that was really nice. We actually took a water aerobics class in a different hotel's pool. So we got to use those facilities. You can go to the different restaurants and the shops in any of the Hilton properties when you stay in any of the Hilton properties. So that was really nice that we did have the option to go travel around to some of the other properties, but we really loved our hotel. We had a two bedroom, two bath unit that actually had a living room and a kitchen. So it was great. Rachel and I shared a room. My mother-in-law had her own room. So it actually works out really well for a girl's trip or if you have multiple family members going together, you kind of each have your own space. We were able to cook our breakfast in the hotel every day, which saved us a lot of money, points, calories, and I enjoyed my breakfast by the pool most mornings. I bought English muffins, cottage cheese with fruit. We had bagels, coffee, yogurt. We had lots of snacks like string cheese and beef jerky, and I brought my must fit water enhancer with protein. That was a lifesaver. I put that in my water every day which helped me get my water in and helped me get my protein in and I even packed protein shakes in my suitcase that I put in my coffee every single morning. We had the best coffee at Island Vintage Coffee Company. Oh my gosh, we loved that place. We were actually sad we were actually sad when we couldn't go there anymore. I mean, that was one of the big reasons we were bummed out about leaving Hawaii besides all of the other reasons about being bummed out from leaving Hawaii, but the coffee was fantastic there. So I just threw my protein shake in there, which gave me my big dose of protein every morning. So we did rent a car, which was a really, really good decision because a lot of our tours and excursions were at least 30 minutes to an hour from our hotel. And the wedding we attended on the Black Sand Beach, which was incredible, was two hours each way from our hotel. So I'm really glad we opted to rent a car instead of focusing on Uber or Lyft because we were able to go to the grocery store, get our coffee, drive to our tours. And we ended up saving a lot of money on the tours by just buying the tickets versus the whole tour that had transportation. So highly recommend renting a car, especially if you want to travel around the island and take different tours and see different things. It kind of blew my mind that anything was two hours one way on the island because you think island, not very big, but because there's no interstate, it's like 35, 40 miles an hour across the whole island. So it took a lot longer to get to really anything. And that's where all that time comes in when you're traveling around the island. So we got there on a third Thursday, pretty late in the afternoon. We checked into our hotel, checked out the pool, and then we went to dinner at Tommy Bahama's restaurant. It was really delicious. I had a quesadilla. It was so good. And then honestly, we came back to the hotel, unpacked, and went to bed. Lucky for me, as you guys know, I am early to bed, early to rise. So is my best friend. So is my mother-in-law. So we were up pretty early every day, and we were in bed by like 8, 8.30 every night, which actually worked out really, really good because the mornings were just perfect at the pool. Nobody was there and we just got to enjoy the whole pool to ourselves most mornings. We spent Friday at the pool. We literally took Friday day as a 
pool day. We ended up going grocery shopping to pick up our groceries and snacks and breakfast items for the week. And then we spent the day at the pool. My mother-in-law read her book. We swam. I we let the waterfall just flow on our back. We laid out in the sun. It was just a really nice, relaxing day. We did venture out for a few minutes to grab some lunch. And then Friday night, we actually went to dinner at a restaurant called Sam's Sam's Choi. It was phenomenal. We actually went to a wedding dinner. We, My mother-in-law was there for her granddaughter's wedding, which we got invited to. So we went to the dinner the night before the wedding and the food was really good. It was really, really fun. And we spent our evening on Friday at the dinner. And then Saturday was the wedding. And because it was two hours each way, we spent our whole day either driving to and from the wedding or at the wedding, but the beach was absolutely beautiful. It was all black sand with the black lava rock. It was stunning. The waves were crashing. We took a ton of photos. The wedding was absolutely beautiful. It's been our lifelong dream since a child to get married in Hawaii on a black sand volcanic beach. So this was perfect for her. She wore the most amazing black lace dress. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Like I want it just to wear it. It's so pretty. And then after the wedding, they all went swimming and we went ahead and headed back to the hotel. And then of course, where did we go? The pool. We went right back to the pool on Saturday and enjoyed our evening at the pool, went out for dinner and and just had a relaxing evening after a long day at the wedding. Sunday, we took a snorkeling tour. Oh my gosh, was it so fun. Rachel was so nervous about the snorkeling tour and ended up having the best time. We got to snorkel in two separate spots and we were on the tour for about four hours. We took the Bite Me sport fishing tours and I cannot recommend them enough. The crew was the best I've ever had. I mean, everybody in Hawaii was nice, but the crew with Bite Me sport fishing was out of this world, the nicest most fun crew. I mean, we tipped them really, really well. And in fact, we booked a second tour with them while we were on the island because we enjoyed them so much. But we got to take a beautiful catamaran out, boat ride out to the first snorkel spot. We got to snorkel for an entire hour. And then we took a short ride on the catamaran to the second spot. And the second spot was incredible. We saw white tipped sharks, which white tipped reef sharks, which was amazing. We saw three of them, tons and tons of fish. We had some snacks. We had some water. We just enjoyed the sun on the beach. And from the girl who put sunscreen on her face to protect her face from the sun, but never on her body because I don't burn, burnt to a crisp on my back because of floating in the water snorkeling. I got a lot of sun on my arms and my chest, but boy, my back burned. So we bought some Maui aloe vera gel, which they claim is the best to put on our sunburn. Really, really helped. Lotion, sunscreen from then forward for the rest of the trip. But the tour was absolutely amazing. And then we headed back to our hotel, went to dinner at a restaurant in a cinema which is crazy to me. We sat outside and had the best fish tacos I've ever had in my entire life. They were so, so good. And then we ended out our evening where else but at the pool. Monday, we did a little shopping. There's a couple of little shopping malls in the Hilton proper, on the Hilton properties called Queens Shopping Court and King Shopping Court. The coffee shop was in King, so obviously we went there every day, but they had an ABC store, which is just a really affordable souvenir store. So we did a little bit of shopping. We picked up a few more groceries. We ate breakfast at the Island Market Shops, which is where the ABC store was. It was so good. We had an island breakfast, potatoes, bacon, and eggs for $7. And let me just tell you, food is really expensive in Hawaii. We paid $14 for 18 eggs. We were paying six or $7 for a pack of English muffins, a bag of chips, a box of crackers. The food prices were really expensive, but when we dined out, they were normal prices, just like you would pay in the state, so I don't understand that, but we did end up going there a couple times for breakfast because it was like $7.50, and it was the perfect breakfast. We did run out of our food that we purchased one or a couple days before we left from Hawaii, so we thought we'll just go out for breakfast and choose a healthy choice and an affordable choice, and then Monday night was our luau. It was incredible. The food was so good. They had pulled pork, Kahlua pork, steak, chicken. One thing I had in Hawaii that I've never had before, they actually had it at the wedding and they had it at the luau. It was a potato macaroni salad. Whoever put those two salads together is genius because it was the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. I had it at the wedding dinner at Sam Choi's and then at the luau, the potatoes were sweet potatoes. It was so good. I need to find a recipe to make it at home because genius, absolute genius to pair those two together. It was so 
good. We had dessert. The luau was phenomenal, like phenomenal. And they even gave you adult beverages as part of your admission, which none of us drink. So we kind of paid a lot of money when we didn't even have any adult beverages, but it was super, super fun. It went pretty late in the evening. So we just came back to the hotel, went to the pool for about an hour just to kind of wind down from the luau and then off to bed we went. And then my mother-in-law actually flew out on Tuesday. My best friend and I stayed an extra day. So we took her to the airport bright and early on Tuesday. And then, like I said, we booked a second tour with Bite Me Sport Fishing because we enjoyed the first one so much. And they were talking all about this manta ray tour that we just had to book. So apparently this is a must book tour. So we booked that for Tuesday evening. But during the day on Tuesday, we went into what I called downtown, which it's not downtown. That's just what I called it. We actually saw it the night before when we drove to the Luau. It was the hotel where the Luau was, was in this downtown area. And they just had the cutest shops and the cutest restaurants. So Rachel and I spent our day down there. We did a lot of shopping. I bought a really cute sweatshirt for myself, a sweatshirt for Troy. Picked up some Crocs that Rachel found at the Croc store that they didn't have my size. They're the most comfortable shoes ever. And we went to lunch at this place called Humpy's. It overlooked the ocean and you sit inside, but you're outside. It's kind of an open air place like Sam, Sam Choi's was. And I had a burger and fries, burger without the bun, ate some fries. It was so, so good. We walked over to the hotel that the luau was at because it was right on the ocean. And we took a few pictures on the beach with the crashing waves. And we just really enjoyed time together, just Rachel and I. My mother-in-law, like I said, had flown out that morning. So we got that final day just to ourselves, which was, was really nice for us just to spend a little extra best friend time together. And then that evening was the tour. And we were so excited for the tour. So, so excited. So we got on the boat and they dressed us to go to the front of the boat for the safety briefing, which I thought was a little weird because the first tour we took with them, we did the safety briefing in the back of the boat. But as a good student, I listened and started walking to the front of the boat, walked through the captain's quarters and realized that it wasn't in the front of the boat. It was actually in the rear of the boat. So I stepped out of the captain's quarters and I don't know if I stepped wrong. What I think happened is I think my flip flop caught the textured flooring of the boat, like the no skid flooring. And it kind of flipped my flip flop over and I tripped. Now I didn't fall completely, but I tripped and rolled my foot and my ankle and scraped up the side of my foot. I have quite the gash on the side of my foot and instant pain. Instant, instant pain, instant swelling. I panicked. Actually, the first thing I said to Rachel was, what about my workouts? And she was like, how about we figure out your foot and if you can finish this tour? Because we hadn't even left the dock yet. We were still boated. We were in the boat, but we were still on the dock. So I finished the tour, but boy, my foot just hurt. It was throbbing and it was swelled. It actually felt good in the water and I enjoyed the whole manta ray tour. We found a sea urchin that we lovingly named Persephone. Uh, like I said, the crew was so great. They took photos for us. They dove down and got videos of the manta ray for us. They took our picture under the water, outside of the water with Persephone. It was absolutely incredible. While we were on the tour, the mantas, I mean, they're huge. They're like 1,500 pound creatures. They came about this far from us and they would just swoop up under the light that they cast in the water. I guess they cast like a purple light that draws the creatures. I mean, it drew fish and it drew the manta rays. It was the most incredible thing I have ever seen in my life. It was so beautiful. The sunset was textbook perfect. It was so fun. Despite the injury, it was so much fun. After that, I hobbled my way back to the car, which was up a really, really steep hill to get back to the car. We iced my foot that night, and then Wednesday morning, bright and early, I flew back to Tucson. It was such a great trip. I can't tell you enough how relaxing and enjoyable it was and how much I needed it. Boy, did I need a vacation. I had been working like 15 plus hour days and I just needed a vacation. I needed some girl time. We've actually officially decided that there will be a girl's trip to a different island in Hawaii every year. We're actually already planning for Maui next October. So it was absolutely incredible. I can't talk enough about what an amazing experience it was from start to finish. Even with an injury, even with my foot still being injured where I can't work out. It was so incredible and worth it. And I'm grateful it happened on the very last day of Hawaii, not the first day of Hawaii. All right, we're making afternoon snack, super simple. I'm not super hungry, but I need to get in the rest of my protein to get me up to date before dinner. And like I mentioned, I usually have two protein supplements every day. So you saw that I had a protein shake in my coffee this morning. And for an afternoon snack, I'm just going to have the Core Power Complete Strawberry Banana. 
I really like this. It's so good by itself. It actually tastes like strawberry milk. It's so yummy and it'll get me 26 grams of protein. So you saw this morning that I put the collagen for her collagen in my coffee. As you know, I put this in my coffee every single morning. I have for several years now. I swear by this product. It definitely has helped with my hair, skin, my nails, my skin elasticity as I have continued to lose weight. So I added that to my coffee this morning. I also have their beauty collagen one to two times a week, I'll put both of these in my coffee, a scoop of regular collagen and a scoop of beauty collagen so that I get the benefits of the hyaluronic acid. And this one is specific for women's skin, especially as we age. Again, hair, skin, and nails. And I figure it doesn't hurt to get that double dose of collagen. Well, they have a new product that I've been using now for a couple of weeks and I'm loving it and I haven't used it yet today. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's the perfect time for me to take it today. And this is again from Collagen For Her. This is their Marine Collagen Beauty Gummy. So this has been a big game changer for me. As you know, I've been traveling a lot. I actually just got back from Hawaii. I'm going to California for a trip on Thursday. So I can't always take my powder with me. And if you're someone that picks up coffee on the go or you forget to add your collagen to your coffee, you can use the gummies in replacement of the beauty collagen or in addition to it if you want to use both collagen products. But these make getting in your collagen for beauty so much easier. They are shaped like little bears. They taste incredible. A serving is two bears. They taste really good. They have a citrusy orange taste, really, really good flavor. These are definitely your beauty routine's new best friend. These delicious little beauties have been formulated with ingredients like vitamin C, vitamin E, biotin, zinc, and marine collagen to help keep your hair, skin, and nails in tip top shape. Bonus, they taste really, really delicious. They are gluten-free, they are non-GMO. This is a 30-day supply, and again, you do take two of the gummies every day. They have 24 calories and about four grams of sugar per serving. I do not count supplements, so I don't count points for these. I don't even track these when it comes to calories. They're naturally flavored with tropical orange, and they can be taken alongside or in addition to any of the other collagen products. So these have been really great for me. I did take my little collagen packets let me show you. So I took these little collagen packets with me to Hawaii. I'm taking these with me to California on Thursday. I took these and these, and it was a great way for me to get my collagen in my coffee every day, as well as get my beauty collagen in, in the form of a gummy that tastes really, really good. It's kind of like a sweet treat every day. So again, take it alongside any of your other collagen. This is a new product to the company. You can do subscribe and save. That's what I did where it's just delivered automatically every month and you actually get a bigger discount. I will link collagen for her down below with 10 percent off for you. Double dip that with the subscribe and save discount and you can use that for any of the collagen for her products. But I had to share these with you guys because I needed to take them anyways and I wanted to rave about how amazing these are if you just don't have the option to use the powder or you want some extra beauty collagen because that never hurt anybody. For dinner tonight, I'm making creamy chicken gnocchi soup. I'm really excited for this. It's fall officially, so we need some soup in our lives. Let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my Gravity Fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. Super, super affordable on Amazon and really, really fun to use. You'll need some chicken broth, minced garlic, low-fat milk, light butter, whole milk, flour, carrots, Italian seasoning, gnocchi. You can use mini gnocchi or full size. You'll also need chicken. I made it easy on myself and bought pre-cooked, pre-shredded chicken, but you can cook and shred your own. You're also going to need some baby spinach, celery, and one yellow onion. First thing I'm going to do is chop my veggies, my celery, my onion, and my carrots. In a large pot, you're going to add four tablespoons of light butter. Allow that to melt. Then you're going to add in your chopped up celery, onions, and carrots as well as a big heaping scoop of minced garlic. And we're going to allow our veggies to cook until softened. It'll be about five to six minutes. Then we're going to add in a quarter cup of flour, stir that in and make a roux. Then we're adding in two cups of low fat milk and half of a cup of whole milk. Give that a quick stir. And then we're adding in two cups of chicken broth we're going to allow this to come to a boil. Once your soup comes to a boil, go ahead and reduce your heat to medium and allow it to simmer on the stove for about eight to 10 minutes or until it thickens up. 
Once your soup is thickened up a bit, we're going to add in some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. Two cups of cooked shredded chicken. A 16 ounce package of gnocchi. Give that a stir and we're going to allow it to continue to simmer until our gnocchi is cooked through. All right, lastly, we're going to add in our roughly chopped spinach, allow it to wilt, and our soup is done. All right, so here is dinner. This looks so good. I tasted the gnocchi to make sure it was cooked through and it is delicious. So the entire recipe makes eight servings. I'll put points calories and protein here on the screen for you. For dessert tonight, I'm gonna to have one of my very favorite things. I have one of the Quaker caramel rice cakes and then no surprise to anybody, I will be topping it with two tablespoons of nut butter. I'm a little shy on my protein, so I wanna make sure that I get in enough protein and healthy fat today. And this Brianne's blend cookie butter, it is in peanut butter base, is so good. And this one actually has 15 grams of protein and two tablespoons, four carbs and nine grams of fat. And it's 145 calories for two tablespoons, which is amazing, like 50 less than Jif. So I'm going to top a rice cake with a couple tablespoons of peanut butter and that is going to be tonight's dessert. Oh, one thing about American Dream nut butter is I don't know if you can see, but there's all sorts of yummy mix-ins. So this one has Oreo cookies and M&Ms and then a peanut butter base. They have their Halloween flavors that just released yesterday and they're all really, really delicious. They're all Halloween themed, super fun, limited edition. So what I'll do is I'll link American Dream Nut Butter down below for you with a discount code so you can take advantage and grab some of literally the best peanut butter ever, but that's going to be tonight's dessert. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. We had some new foods that were incredible. We taste tested a few things and that dinner recipe cannot be beat. Highly recommend that soup was so good perfect for the colder months. I'll link everything I shared with you today down below along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, my Facebook group. Definitely come over and join us there. Of course, we would love, love, love to have you. And don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday and I'll see you all in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.